Well, hi there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode. It's a pleasure not to be with you today. I am your host, your ghost. Oh, my God. The game did not load in fast enough. I am your host, your ghost host. No, I'm joking. I like the ghost host. If you don't know what the ghost host is, it's a reference to, like, the Haunted Mansion. What is the Haunted Mansion? Uh, Disney. Uh, Eddie Murphy. The ride at, you know, your local... Well, I say local loosely, but at your... Uh, closest nearest uh, disney theme park i don't know anyways welcome back so today's episode oh by the way hang on before we get into this episode i do actually want to pause real quick and go over um some comments because there was actually some pretty good comments left in the last episode so, so bear with me please bear 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 you might hear me in the background i might yeah the, might hear myself in the background with the video um let's see here um okay so yeah do not buy a truck that's a good thing uh, do not buy the farm. Apparently, it's a waste. <laughs> uh, let me go back to the other episode. So, do not buy it, or you can you can buy a truck. Just do not buy um, a a car. Is what it what it or sorry a phone. Do not. Well, there's a lot. There's there's no buy phone. No, don't buy um, a farm. But we've already bought the phone, phone, so we're okay with that. Anyways, newspaper, yeah, we, we know that now for a fact that you can make money off the newspaper, so that's good. You can't adjust the price, that is confirmed. Toilet paper, strawberry, and biscuits is something good to uh, to use in our uh, store. So I'm going to keep my eye on that, um, and maybe that's something we're going to be actually purchasing for today. So strawberries, strawberry, uh, I'm not even going to look at it because I, 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 I will wreck. So I will get to it. When I get to it, I will do it. God, Lord, this beginning of this episode's falling apart. It, it, it's, everything is falling apart. Cans and bottles. Okay, so for most people, let me just make this clear real quick. For most people who maybe watch my King of Retail, Cans and Bottles is not the name of the store in King of Retail. I know that. I know that. So I, I think it's Bottles and Cans in King of Retail, but this one's going to be Cans and Bottles because it's in a whole different world, dude. Oh my god, so special. Uh, real quick, though, we're going to take a look at the store. Yeah, so it seems like all of our stuff is here, so it's good that nothing was stolen. Thank God. Uh, but we do have a lot of products now. We're, we're starting to, like, come together in a way. Uh, real quick, uh, one thing I do need to actually uh, do, and this was also pointed out, I lost money from the bank and others um, so I was confused, I think yesterday or the last episode where I was like, well, I lost $50 for my wages, right? Duh. Uh, but I also lost other money. And I think I was losing money for, for not only $50 to wages, but you also lose $50 for your installment on your, uh, or your interest or your, you know, your payment back on the loan. So that's something I need to keep in mind as well. So real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and put about, I'm going to put $200 in. Can I do that? Transfer $200. They'll cover today and that will cover tomorrow's expenses. Uh, and then for the rest of the day, we can worry about, you know, profits and, and, and expanding the store. So, yeah. So today I want to, I think I want to get, um, what do I want? Well, I, I kind of want to get like a table in here. I think that would be kind of cool. I also want to, uh, I want to do what you recommend or, you know, some of you may recommend, uh, as far as like what products are good because you know i I'm, I'm clueless when it comes to this game so we do have an extra table in here that we can start adding uh, but i'm kind of like i'm kind of stalling right now to get as much money from from the till as i can um can we check our yeah show info gas is fine oil is okay uh maintenance is okay so eventually not anytime soon but eventually we're gonna have to take care of that and we're gonna need to keep an eye on that um yeah i just drove straight through the island again what are you going to do? Oh, there's actually something I do want to check out today. Uh, I think it's the uh, the importer or exporter place. I've never been there. It's, it's actually by the farm. So we're going to take a drive there today. And we're going to see what that's all about. So I'm kind of curious. I really am. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go to Jabs real quick. Pick up some, I believe, strawberry. Don't, again, don't try to read it when you're driving. I know, I know. Toilet paper. I know that's one of the one of the things on the list. Toilet paper. So we're gonna get toilet paper. Do they sell toilet paper here? They should, right? Toilet paper. Maybe lost in translation. Uh, no, it wouldn't be diapers. That's that's idiotic of me to say. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Okay, yeah, toilet paper. Okay, high price. So yeah, I will buy the stuff that needs to be bought when it's not high priced, right? Uh, let's see here. I, I want to get low priced items just because I I do want to you know make a profit obviously so toilet paper strawberry biscuit 
Strawberry biscuits. Um, is that this? That's sugar. Hello? Uh, my man, do you do you have any oh dude, are those strawberry biscuits? That's a snack. Oh, well, you are you are a bit of a snack there, my 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 man in my man in camo. My duck dynasty. Uh so strawberry, strawberry, anything that's strawberry, chocolate bars, did I say ginger? Oh, ginger biscuits. Chocolate biscuits. Strawberry biscuits. Alright, so here's the strawberry biscuits. That's a good item. Uh looks like those were the only other things that were really uh well, we can even get ketchup, but I think we already got ketchup, right? No. All right, so let's see here. Animal treats. Animal treats is something we, we've never had, and it's something that has been requested. Uh, so animal treats is, is, is I'm, I'm kind of going for it, but at the same time, like, oh, wow, this is actually, look at this. So look at the prices here. I know it's very hard to see at the bottom left-hand corner, but you got 145 137 the cat food, 140 to 117 You already know I'm buying cat food. We are now having, we, are, we now supply dog food and cat food. Let me actually just go ahead and, and close this tab off to the, off to the left here. Thank you. Yeah, so we have cat food. Anything I can get for $86 that's worth buying. Uh, you know, that's a good price, but you know, not, I'm not, I'm not sold on it. Ooh, some rose tea. That sounds so good right now. I would take some tea. 10 for 10 it's a good price but I, i'm i'm gonna keep like my eye on the prices here obviously i mean salt we don't we haven't had salt before but i want to see some of the prompts that come up here when we are away looks like we sold some milk that's great news nutty chocolate dude we're buying nutty chocolate all right so we have cat food and chocolate you know probably not the best uh combination to have in your stomach but you know it is what it is all right, so customer left, no chocolate biscuit. Look, my man, we tried, but the prices were too high. We were going to get a strawberry biscuit for what it's worth. So I was told, if you have 100% dirtiness on your character, uh, you can't sprint is what that is. So that's good to know. Thank you for that tip as well. So down here is the farm. Apparently, do not buy the farm, at least obviously where we're at. We, we There's no way we're going to be doing that anyways. Um, but yeah, here's the farm. It's kind of cool, right? I, I, I dig it. I do dig it. But over here should be exporter importer. What is this? This is called exporting company. Uh, what do you do? That's what we're going to find out today. So let me leave my pizza planet. Get out of the pizza planet. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go see what the exporting company does because I'm not really sure what they do either. I wish these buildings were not so freaking big and like they were like over here hidden in the in the in the in the corner here. So buy financial stocks in exporting company. It's just like the it's just like the other trading company. All right, that's a little bit disappointing. I was thinking like, oh dude, like exporting foods or you know, import export foods and and whatnot, but I guess that what would be the point of the market of like Jab's marketplace, right? Then you wouldn't really buy from him, right? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess you're right. Uh, let's stop at the furniture shop here and let's see if there's any tables. Um, I don't think I'll have enough money to buy a table for right now, but I want to see how much money possibly it is to get one. Uh, that is not the right table. These are tables. Okay, so 300 and Oh, that's on an electronics table. That no, I want this. Yeah, like like an easy folding table. So $150 for a folding table. That's good to know. The freaking birds, dude. Office chair. Why would you want an office chair? How much are these? A storage rack. 175. That's not bad. Now I, I've seen like screenshots of this game in other varieties. Like, look, a door, right? A door. Uh what is this? For customizing your shop or house. This just answered my question. I was going to say, I've seen screenshots of how people, like, customize their walls and, and, and all that. And I was thinking, like, how do they do that? That's it. That is it right there. Okay. Good to know. So let's go back to our shop. Let's go ahead and drop off some, excuse me, some freaking cat food and nutty chocolate. No cola. Get to stepping. The only drink we have, I think, in the store is chocolate milk. So... Maybe chocolate milk and cat food will be the best uh, best recipe here. I do plan on putting the cat recipe, or <laughs> not the cat recipe, putting the cat, uh, ah, dude, the cat food on the outside table, on the smaller table on the outside. So the right side instead of the left side. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a sec. 
So cans and bottles, we'll go ahead and illegally park on the corner here. You know, we run this town, nobody else. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I hate that. <laughs> so this is where I wanted to, oh, dude, these things are big. I shouldn't be surprised because like I saw the size of them in the store, but still. Uh, can I just like, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to pull the entire box out, put it right there and do this. Yeah. So now we have cat food, ladies and gentlemen. Like I haven't seen, has any of this stuff sold? Like they're able to buy this stuff. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it does seem like they, they are buying that stuff. That's good to know. Like, I don't want to put things out here and be a fool and they're like, you know, the AI just doesn't register and they're like, you know what? There's nothing out there. Can't do anything for you. Can't buy it. Because uh, then I would just look like it, like a jackass, like just putting stuff out here and not being able to sell it. Oh, God. Okay, so we have an entire table filled with cat food. How many cats live in this town? We're going to find out very quickly. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and get our nutty chocolate. Getting nutty. <clears throat> Where are we going to put the nutty chocolate? Oh, uh, I guess right there. Looks like, yeah, right there. Oh, actually, this is a bad spot just because... It's not like, it doesn't take that much room, and we do have some nutty chocolate as it is. I didn't even know we had that nutty chocolate still left. I thought we sold it all. But that's all right. Okay, okay. I mean, this was a pretty decent deal. That's why I went for it. That's why we, we got it, right? Now, I do want to take a look at some more produce options. Uh, maybe take a look at the, the meat market. Like, what do I need, or what do I need to put meat market out for sale? Uh, my guess would be a refrigerated unit, which is what we have. We do have a refrigerated unit that could have like a top rack of, uh, of, uh, meat looking at it here. God, look at our milk, dude. Our milk is selling out. You love that. All right. How are we doing on cash, my man? $300 and $360. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, how was our hunger? <sighs> This is one thing that drives me nuts, the hunger. Just give me your overpriced food. I have a ton of food in my shop, but apparently I, I, I can't crack open like a nice bag of chips. Okay. So, yeah, let's go to the produce in the, the butcher shop, I guess is what it is. And we'll see, uh, see how that's going. That man is doing an incredible job in there. We probably actually need to be careful because we probably have to pay bills. There's a lot of factors, and it always feels like this game, you know, it's like... It doesn't feel like you're going somewhere, but you are going somewhere. It just takes some time, of course, like any other game. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. High price. Yo, good price on the sa- Oh, God, these are expensive. Good price on the sausages, but good God almighty. These things sell freaking crazy. So you can see where, like, the big money money things are. Like, this, this is obviously a big money thing. Now, let's get some produce here. <clears throat> Hello, my good man. So bananas, decent price. Watermelons, out of control. Tomatoes, they're okay. Peppers, peppers. No dog food? What? What do you mean you left with no dog food? I'm not saying like the store has no dog food, but the prompt that just came up. The guy left with no but dog food. Did we run out of dog food? Did we ever even have dog food? I don't know, dude. Let's buy the peppers. No chocolate biscuit. That's twice now. That's twice on the no chocolate biscuit. Sue me. <laughs> Just sue me? Like, what are, you, what are you gonna do about it? I'm going down the road. You think I'm gonna pop open the trunk to put the peppers in the trunk? No. Everybody's gonna see what I'm bringing to the store. It's, it's, it's free advertising, right? Hello, everybody. This is, we got peppers now. Come get a nice, fresh, fresh juicy pepper. You know who likes fresh, juicy peppers? My pigs. My pigs love green peppers they eat that shit up man i tell you what all right so you know uh not having meat i mean we were, <laughs> we wanted to, you know to do the 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 top there but it doesn't look like that's the case so no meat for today i think that's the fun part of it of this game <clears throat> the fun part of it is like going into the game this is not like space efficient at all not at all um whatever Going into the game where every day, you know, you get a different, you get a different spin on it because you don't know what's going to be high price that day and what's going to be low price, I guess. I like that. I, I like that a lot. It's a good charm to it. I guess we'll just stash some peppers here. Does it look pretty? It doesn't look pretty. Don't argue with me yet. 
I mean, give me, give me, I, I just want the money right now. I'm, I'm, I'm not worried about how the store looks. Look, our apples are almost out. How are we doing everything else? This is dog food, right? The, the dog food, we had dog food, man. You telling me we didn't have dog food is a kick to the freaking ads. I tell you what. Look, we're probably not even able to sell any of this stuff out here. Okay, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm now officially worried. Maybe it was a different kind of dog food. Maybe like a wet dog food instead of a dry dog food. But my man, I am bringing some of this stuff in here. So I'm going to bring just a couple of each. No milk chocolate. Don't ever tell me that again. I'm going to bring just a couple things in. Um, and I'll see if they sell now all of a sudden, right? I guess it wouldn't really matter because if I was somewhere else and something sold, I, I wouldn't know if it was inside or outside. Unless, you know, I keep track of the things inside, which I should probably just do. I mean, at first glance, it doesn't look like any of this stuff is selling. Let's see here. What if I put one cat food here? Okay, see, customer is left. No dog food. That's dog food, dude. Someone bought a newspaper? Thank you. Wait. Okay, even if it was in here, as you see, it would have been available either way. So I don't think the inside and outside matters now looking at it. Uh, I think what he was asking for was wet dog food. Okay, that's all right. Let's see what he gets. Coffee sticks? So coffee sticks were out here. Okay, so he did. He, he bought the coffee stick from out here. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> all right, so it is getting late. It is getting late. We are coming to the end of the day here. Now, I really want to maybe get a table so that we don't have things just laying everywhere maybe i do maybe i don't maybe i save my money for, at least for one day you know and kind of let the product sell oh make it he made it yeah maybe i just let the product sell for right now it seems like the reputation like it's gonna be hard to like get the reputation up because like there's you, you you're gonna like realistically gonna want and need and have to have every single item that's available diaper sold he took the ones inside he did take the ones inside well I can't blame them. It's an easy access point there. There you go. Disposal, disposable diapers. So no rice. I think that's... Yeah, you know what? I'm actually kind of sold on that, on that theory here. I'm sold on the theory that... You got to get at least one of everything, right? You got to get at least one of everything in the store. So that, that reputation can then uh, kind of garnish a little bit. Uh, because anytime nobody has what you... Or you have somebody asks for something you don't have you know your reputation goes downhill i don't you know reputation might be like an end game thing considering like electronics you know electronics is uh it's probably a very very high price item i would love to try to get meat in here that's why i'm kind of saving my money because right oh my god you're tall um that's like every day of my life though i think that if we can i mean the store is stocked right it's stocked for the most part, if we can get enough money to maybe get a good deal on meat in the next day, I think then we can possibly start making some big money. That's what I'm hoping for, right? I mean, the profit margin is so low with some of these stuff like toothpaste, like 10 for 10, $10. <laughs> you buy it for $10 and sell it for $10. You're not making anything, dude. You're not making anything at all. So let's just go ahead and jump into our car here. And let's head on over to, I don't even know. Was the smartphone a smart buy? No. I'll admit it. It was not a smart buy. Do I regret it? I do. I do regret it. I actually, can I like take a peek in here? Just out of curiosity, my man. Like, what are your prices? 500. Okay, so maybe the electronics aren't as much as I thought. I mean, $2,000 for a coffee maker. That is kind of cool. A gaming console like your your Xbox One or something here. How much is that? Five hundred. Okay. Uh, your PlayStation Fives. How much are these? Six hundred. They don't have the uh, Series X. Okay, I'm I'm a little a uh, little offended there. Five thousand dollars for a tablet. Okay, that's a big money maker. Calculator is even kind of expensive. What is this? Desktop computer. Thousand dollars as well. Keyboards. All right. Oh, dude, the TVs, though. Oh, well, they're not that. 
four thousand dollars that's probably some of the best things you can get is that gold looking monitor laptop computer i don't even know what about a fridge fridge is pretty good too all right so we know what they have to offer in the electronics or the appliance store so that's good yeah so let's go ahead and head back to uh home the store is going to close here very very shortly and we'll head on over back home so where we can take a bath i don't know why you needed to add the little chime oh god add the chime there we did sell some nutty chocolate i smashed into my flower pot if you didn't hear that that's terrible how's our car okay again another thing we gotta think about is like uh, we're gonna have an expense coming soon with our freaking truck like ow <laughs> all right let's go ahead and use the toilet or the toilet depending on where you live and where you're from and how you pronounce things oh my god you know wait a sec door and a wall i'm curious i'm curious i'm gonna go try that out i'm gonna try that out in the store uh in the next day here <sighs> Good yawn sound effect. Prices at jabs change every day. We know that. We do know that. Strawberry biscuits. I do want to add some strawberry biscuits. Uh, but I'm not going to buy them for high price. Like, that's a refusal. Store is open. Good stuff. Let me out. Yeah, I'm, you know, I feel Canadian. I'll leave the door open. All right. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> All right. Um prices so 360 dollars let's head to jabs first i should have head to the meat market but let's head to jabs let's see if any of these items are on sale now because you know even when you guys like recommend products to add to the add to the shop like i am like willing to like go out of my way to to add this stuff because you know the input that you guys give is something I want to add to the, you know, to the Let's Play series, and it just makes it more enjoyable for me to go out and try to, it's like a challenge, like a little side quest, right? Um, but it's also good for you, because, you know, how special, you, you got to recommend something to add to the store, like, that's fun. Strawberry biscuits, look, you're not pulling through today either. Uh, toilet paper, oh, I'm sorry, that's tissue? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Toilet paper, still uh, not pulling through today. How about the animal treats? Animal treats are still on fire. Um, the salad dressing isn't too bad. Salad dressing is almost a $10. What about the rose tea? People keep asking for the rose tea. Cola? You know, I think I will buy a box of cola. Actually, we could probably buy more boxes of cola. I'm kind of thinking, like, in the beginning of the episode, or the beginning of the uh, series... Oh, that was a loud sound. Um, I feel like... Like, this stuff is so cheap, I'm just gonna buy it. I feel like I could have used my money in, in a very smarter, smarter sense than I did. Like, let's see here. Check the frozen food section. Yo, look at that. Chocolate. Chocolate ice cream. Look at how much the ice cream sells for. Oy, yoy. oy. I, I think that's a, we just don't have high ticket. I Like, this is, this is big. Milk gallon. We can make $45 off this bad boy. We're buying it. No electricity. Son of a bitch. The man forgot to check his bills. All right, let's go back to the store. We got to we got to go there ASAP. People are working in the dark. No strawberry biscuit. That's a slap to the freaking face right there. God Jesus. Um <clears throat> So no electricity. Like what is the point of no electricity? Like okay. Yeah, you you, you had no electricity. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that one out. Um but like the register still works. And if the electricity was out, then the uh, register wouldn't work because <laughs> you have to have the register plugged into the wall. Well, of course, you know, you have like a maybe tablet or you know, a really old school register that's just all mechanical. But I don't think that's what we're rolling with. I think this is a good time to kind of hop out just to check the prices of these high price meats because I do want to have meats eventually. High price, high price, high price. Good price, four ninety nine. Good gun, slap me in the in the in the in the cheeks there. Uh, Two forty five for the chicken. That is possibility. Big possibility for the chicken. Two forty five. We do need to actually send a hundred dollars to the to the bank, so we can cover tomorrow's wages and uh, loan. So we will do that. On top of that, we will have to find a way to pay our bills. 
I forgot how much they cost, but we're gonna check it out. Look at this man. He's working in the dark. This guy never calls out sick. And he doesn't complain about his job. This is a real man. Okay, looks like we are selling stuff out here. That is a double co confirmation. Yep, double confirmation. Excuse me, let me just, like, pull up in there. Okay, so 402. Uh, let me just check to see how much... Oh, I probably can't because there's no electricity. Oh, okay. $150, I see. $150. Now, to pay the $150, I need... Or the, the bills. I need a credit card, right? I need money to be on the credit card. Uh, I need $100 to be on the bank. Uh, so, yeah, let's do that. So, $100 in the bank. That's the first thing. So, $100. That's not wallet to bank. $100 for tomorrow. There's our expenses there. Uh, and then uh, money to bank. Yes, money to bank. So, how much would we add? What is that? 14, 114? 114? And then take 114 and put that on our credit card. There we go. Okay, so that's good. Now we should be able to pay our electricity. What if, like, you go one day and then, like, the next day without electricity and that's it? You know, like, game over. High possibility. Pay electricity. Bam! We have the lights back on. You'd love to see it. So there we go. Good. Uh, we can add some more products that we've gotten recently. My God. Hello. What did we get? Oh, yeah. Milk gallon. Yeah, this is a this is this is big because this actually could give us a lot of money. I think I think I don't these might go this for the same price Can you actually see? You can't see how much they sell for can you all right? That's all right But the milk and the chocolate milk should sell for around the same That's probably like our biggest profit cow. No pun intended there with the milk and I probably missed the pun but um, you know the cows, it's a cash cow is the milk right now. I don't think there's anything really that's more expensive than our milk. What is that? Inside fridge? Oh, you can see what's inside fridge and what's not inside fridge. Oh, wait. I see, okay. So at least the game gives you like a confirmation like inside fridge. If it's not inside the fridge, it's not inside the fridge, but it's inside the fridge. Put that there. Put this there there one more yeah one more so there we go we have some milk gallons sold some biscuits vanilla biscuits you love to see that let's go ahead and get some other stuff out of the truck here oh that was a terrible sound right my ear too uh so this is colas right two two boxes of colas and these are cheap these are kind of like a convenience item store i mean we all know we've all we've all been to our local uh 7-eleven right uh you know i mean i think like in real life and I could be wrong, but this is just a guess. Like, gas stations, they make their money on convenience. And they don't necessarily make their money on um, <clears throat> gas, right? So, they do make money on gas, but it's so little. And it's, like, it's so little, I guess, is, is the perfect way to say it. What the hell just happened? Did the man just bought, he bought chocolate right underneath our freaking eyes there? Uh, <clears throat> it's so little profit margin for the gas that... Really, the gas stations stay in business when you buy a candy bar or you buy a soda from them and stuff like that. I think that also goes with, like, liquor stores. Also, yeah. Honestly, like, I used to work next to a liquor store. Uh, it was in the same, well, it was in the same shopping center as us, the, the liquor store. And the, the person who owned the liquor store... <clears throat> he was a he was an Indian. He well, he was Indian, I should say, and his his family was from India. And I tell you what, dude, some of the nicest like he was the nicest guy ever. He was so generous. It, it kind of blew my mind. And I tell you what, he owned his liquor store, and he was the only one who worked there. Him and maybe sometimes his wife would work there if he got sick and i tell you what he would be there from 10 a.m to 10 p.m every single day monday through monday monday through sunday every day seven days a week and i was always impressed by their by his work ethic and it was always kind of funny uh he is from india and his wife is from india and him and his wife they uh they moved from india to america um because that's just, just what they wanted to do 
and his rest of his family lives in India still. So like his mom and stuff who, by the way, is like since the last time I talked to him, his mom is sick. So he actually just recently went back to India to visit her for a little bit. This was pre COVID before COVID, of course. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he always joked around how he brought his wife here. He had kids, right? Um, I think maybe his kids were already born before they came here, but, um, <clears throat> He'd always joke like he, he, you know, you know how everyone complains about the world like, oh, you know, the world's crazy. And he, will you know, since his mom is sick, he, he wants to like move back to India. But his wife is like, so this is what this is out of his mouth. This is what he says. He says his wife is so Americanized now that she doesn't want to go back to India. She refuses to go back to India. So anytime he goes back to India to visit his family, she stays with the kids and his kids are like grown like they're adult they're adult kids um and he you know the stuff he does for his kids it's it's incredible it really is like he runs his own liquor store he saved up all this money he he drives an older used car right and as soon as his his kids because i knew his sons also as soon as his sons graduated school graduated high school he gave them a brand new car right it was incredible such such generous like generosity it's it, it's so cool and like he his hopes and it kind of felt bad um because his hopes and dreams would be his son his son to come and work for him and help him at his store at, at the liquor store his son doesn't you know yeah understandably his son's like no i don't want to do that and he'd rather do other things in life and i think that kind of backfired on him because he always talked about how he wanted to work with his son and all that and and hope that one day um you know he would take over the liquor store i mean yeah okay it's a liquor store but you know it's something even a business like i've had business in my family it's like something you won't want to have you know for as long as you you can right and and even a business like his uh it's something that's not going out of style dude liquor stores are not going out of style and he makes money you know and uh, it, it was so like heartwarming to see that um <laughs> that he, he he just he would drive not the nicest cars he wouldn't drive he wouldn't wear the nicest clothes and he would save so much money up so that he could go see his family in india and then he could go and uh, buy his sons you know the nicest cars that they needed pay for their apartments to live in uh, it's just what the hell is going on over there it was it, it's it's incredible it's just incredible to see like i said he works every single day 12 hours a day amazing work ethic and it's kind of, it was, it was like, it was cool. Cause like he came to me one time and he's like, you know, his wife's at home and he, he's like, he can't leave the store. You know, it's like, he doesn't have anyone to work for him. And so he would offer me like, Hey, can you, you know, if I gave you money, can you go to Costco? Can you pick up a few things so that I can refill the store temporarily and stuff like that? And it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that for you, man. That, that's, that's the least that I can do. Right. You know? Because, you know, he would help me out. I would help him out. I would see him just about every single day. Yeah, it's good stuff. It was really good stuff. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, I knew him f for five years, five, six years. Yeah, so I, I would see him just about every day for five to six years. So, you know, and there were some bad times sometimes, you know, like people would try to break into his shop and, you know, they would smash his windows and stuff and... And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a terrible thing. Like why, why do that to people? And even like, not even like him, but even where, you know, our shop down, down a quick walk down the, down the pavement or sidewalk, our shop would always get like smashed up and, and broken into and stuff like that. So, but him, like, he's like, you know, I can't afford fixing windows every month. You know, unfortunately that's kind of the society we live amongst, you know, at least where we live. Uh, not saying around the world, but just where we live. So we're going to take this $463, you know, and I'm actually going the wrong way. I need to go and buy some chicken. So what happens if I run over that man? I don't even know, dude. I have no idea. Yeah, he's, what if I run over these people? Get out of the way! Oh, dude! What the hell is that guy made of? All right. <laughs> Let's go buy some chicken, dude. All right, that guy's doing a great job. Cleaning powder. We don't have cleaning powder. No, 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 no. We have cleaning powder in our other retail series, but that's all right. 
All right, so this is this is the main thing. This is what I, you know, these these are big sellers. These are big sellers. Let's see here. All right, milk sold for ten dollars. That, what? That better be the small milk. Okay, so two hundred and forty-five dollars. We bought the chicken. Now, can we sell the chicken for three hundred dollars? Toothpaste sold for eight dollars. Why do I feel like things are not being sold correctly? Like. Am I reading the, the, the sell price wrong? Like, am I buying things because, uh, because for what? Like, I, I, like I'm buying an $8 toothpaste, toothbrush or toothpaste, whatever it is to sell for $8. I don't think that's right. I don't think I'm doing that, but it feels like I am in a way. Maybe not. I could be wrong. All right, let's go ahead and get out. Milk gallon sold for $28. Oh, well, you do have to put in 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 kind of sense here so i'll catch myself before i'm wrong you gotta you gotta think it's three like for for an example the 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 milk it's three hundred dollars for the entire box not a piece <laughs> so that's something i keep forgetting to take into account there so here's our chicken i mean honestly can we like like how do you no 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 how do you shift okay well I was hoping I could like put it on a stand, but can I put it right here? Chicken next to the bell peppers and uh, next to the milk. I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. We'll just put it on the top here. That's fine. So hopefully these chickens sell. I don't think I've ever seen anyone complain about not having chicken, but I did want to get I did want to get some of this uh, good stuff in here. And if five dollars for newspaper, I mean it's it's coming through, right? Coming through for sure. I will stack the chickens. They do take a lot of room here. I will not stack the chickens because they will not let me stack the chickens. In that case, I will do this. I will put the single milk down there. Bring the bell pepper back up here. Stack the bell peppers. Put this right there. I might move all the produce down to the bottom here. There we go. Oh, dude, you can't stack the chickens. What the hell? Get me in there then. Let me in there. That's fine. Shouldn't be a, a lot of chicken left. One chicken. Stack it right there. Okay, good. Whew, all right. Looking good. Give me that. $128. Customer left with no eggplant. Look, my man. Does it look like a garden? I got bell peppers. I got tomatoes. I got no more apples. Okay, good, good. Cola sold for seven dollars. So yeah, these are nice convenient item drinks to, to or nice convenient items to have. What does that say? Buff dizzy drinks. All right. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, and and turn in for the day. I think it is getting late and dark outside. It's like six p.m. I could you know easily do something with my food there, but I'm not going to. I will check my car out to make sure it's not uh, you know it's not damaged in any sort of way. So we kind of like got to make a routine, right? For for every day. I mean, routine. Maybe go check the produce, check the check check the meat market, see how that's doing. Um, what is it? Uh, um, there's what is it? Freaking jabs. Yeah, jabs. Check jabs out. See if there's any good deals from jabs. Of course. Get out of the car. Thank you very much. Milk gallon sold for twenty eight dollars. Love that. All right. Yeah. Let's go inside and uh, yeah. I'll sleep with my door open. I'm not afraid. Let's go ahead you know what mix it up we'll go bathtub toilet bathtub toilet there we go <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and sleep away to the next day but that's gonna do it in today's episode hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did please make sure to hit that like and i will see you in the next trader life simulator as we are trade in life i don't i don't know take care this is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I hear you're a